It's in the news, MRSA. Okay, can you look at a kid and see his nose and know the kid has it? Uh, no. Uh, but MRSA is not something all that new. It's new in that we've started to see it in a very, very few cases outside the hospital. Uh, MRSA, which stands for methicillin-resistant Staph aureus. Staph aureus is a certain bacteria that's very commonly found. Most of the time it can be treated with uh, uh, a variety of penicillin-like drugs, one of, one of which is called methicillin. So when we have one that's resistant to methicillin, it is of greater concern. There are antibiotics that can clear it, but it's not going to be the routine antibiotic. In the hospital, because we see a, a, a higher incidence of resistant such bacteria, whether it be staph or other bacteria as well, we're always, uh, we're always thinking about it and culturing for it and taking note of it. In the general population, we have not been seeing it until recently, and even now we're only seeing a very few cases. You cannot tell just by looking at the patient. You have to suspect it. And the only way you would suspect it is if you see someone has some form of infection. It could be a skin infection. Um, it could be a mucous membrane infection. Uh, but if that infection is not clearing, and the same should be said of any infection, if you give a, a, a child an antibiotic and they are not better within two to three days, which is how long it takes for a normal oral antibiotic to kick in, then you should advise that mother to contact you. And if they're not getting better, whether it be MRSA or some other resistant form of infection, you need to see that child again, or that child needs to be seen again in some uh, emergency room to be evaluated for a, a resistant infection. So a, a child who is not responding appropriately to an antibiotic, that's when you start thinking about it. The problem is when a, when a parent is sent home with an antibiotic um, and is not told that if your child does not respond in the next two to three days or gets worse before then to contact the physician, that's when trouble happens. The best way to preventing it? Washing of the hands. Yes, washing, washing of the, the hands. hands, covering of wounds, uh, and using common hygiene uh, tips. But the bottom line is if a child has any form of infection, even if you don't suspect it at first, if the child is not getting better, you must contact your physician within two or three days. If they're getting worse, then contact them sooner.